morning and welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us this morning at Farmer International Air Show. It's always a special occasion for us, being the home of British aviation, but particularly this year as we celebrate 100 years of the RAF and an enduring partnership with industry throughout that period. I can't think of a more fitting time or place to launch the next era of British combat air expertise. We're extremely privileged to have with us today the Defence Secretary, Gavin Williamson, and Chief of the Air Staff, Sir Stephen Hillier, to join us this morning and make an important announcement about what is a great opportunity for us all and set the vision for the future of the combat air sector in the UK. We look forward to continuing our partnership between the military and industry and thank the government for its ongoing support led by the Defence Secretary. So without further ado, please give a warm welcome to the Right Honourable Gavin Williamson, Secretary of State for Defence. Well, may I start off by saying what a huge pleasure it is to be here. A year of many milestones in aviation. 110 years since the first powered flight here in Farnborough. 100 years since the first mission of a newly formed Royal Air Force. 75 years since the legendary dam busters dropped their bouncing bombs on Nazi oppressors. And 70 years since the fanfare of the very first Farnborough air show. And today is about celebrating some of those past achievements. But we're also here to marvel at the high-tech achievements of the present. The United Kingdom remains the world leader in combat air, combining skills and technology from right across Europe. It directly supports over 18,000 jobs, with a further 100,000 jobs dependent on this vital sector in the supply chain. It's a turnover in excess of £6 billion a year and accounts for 85% of UK defence exports over in the last year alone and 80% over the last 10 years. Alongside our partners, we're delivering Typhoon with more than 20,000 flying hours on operations, as well as the F-35 Lightning II as the United States' only Tier 1 partner, delivering 15% by value of every F-35 built. But let's be clear. We're entering a dangerous new era of warfare. So our main focus has to be the future and how we deal with the developing dangers. Today, we offer you a glimpse of tomorrow, starting with the unveiling of this, the new concept model beside me, a Tempest. Tempest will be a future fighter with advanced flexible power and propulsion systems, a virtual cockpit, swarming weapons and laser directed energy weapons, operated either manned or unmanned. It will be rapidly upgradable and cyber resilient, a concept, yes, 
but built on three credible principles, the pillars of our future approach. First, we have a vision for developing next generation systems and weapons. That's why today we're publishing our first ever combat air strategy. Alongside a plan to make lofty aspirations a reality, this is a strategy to keep control of the air, both at home and abroad, to remain a global leader in the sector and support the UK's wider prosperity agenda, and to protect and build on key skills across the UK's industrial base. Next, we have an ironclad commitment to deliver. In the 2015 Strategic Defence and Security Review, we promised to invest in new complex weapons, and we've done what we've said we've done, working with our industry partners, investing £2 billion until 2025 to make our future combat air system technology actually take off, make it real, make it happen. Make no mistake, we'll be showing the same energy, speed and commitment to bring our combat air strategy to life. A new team is already on the runway. Their timetable is clear. I want to see a business case for the acquisition programme by the end of the year. Early decisions around acquiring next generation capability will be made by the end of 2020. Final investment decisions by 2025. And by 2035, I want to see Tempest flying alongside world-beating typhoons and F-35s. Finally, our approach hinges on international collaboration. Tempest is an innovative partnership between the Ministry of Defence, industry partners, BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo and MBDA. But we want new partners as well. Together we want to design and build ultra-advanced equipment, far faster, keeping ahead of a breathtaking pace of technological change. And we want to put our world-class skills at the disposal of our friends, while embracing the high-end skills that they also offer and can bring to the table bringing and building on the best of what every nation has. My question to potential partners in the room today is simple. How can you work with us? How can we work with you? Let us discuss our requirements, what we want to see for the future, and we can get started. So Farnborough, is once more writing a new chapter in the history of our aviation nation. As we enter the next century of air power, we're not just unveiling a concept, we're setting out a plan, rolling up our sleeves to make sure our Royal Air Force, our combat air sector, and our global Britain flies higher, faster, and further than ever before. Thank you. So Stephen Hinnick. Well, Secretary of State, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to speak today about the path to the next generation of combat aircraft. Last week's RAF 100 events, the parade, the fly past, have all underlined the exceptional heritage that the Royal Air Force, supported by the best of UK and international industry, is proud to inherit. But this now is about the future. The Secretary of State has spoken about why the combat air strategy is important to the UK and to the relationship with our allies. For the Royal Air Force, it is about taking ownership in building our next generation Air Force, a unique opportunity to architect a system that will ensure that we can sustain the combat air cap capabilities which are so important today and ensure that we can continue to control airspace in the future and give us the freedom of maneuver that we need in an increasingly complex and hostile environment. 
It's also about ensuring that we drive innovation into the DNA of our future capability. A flexible and agile capability delivered rapidly, affordably, and configurable for a range of future conflicts. In both the automotive and the civil aerospace sector, innovation has reversed the growth and time and cost associated with new technology. It's time now to transform our ability in the military aerospace enterprise to deliver affordable, complex capability. Partnerships are critical to harnessing intellectual horsepower, supercharging outcomes, and forming lasting relationships that can stand the test of time, a century even. The combat air strategy has been developed in partnership with input from across government, industry, academia, and of course, the Minister of Defense. And the path to delivery will grow broader still, at home and internationally, across the military and industrial landscape. Team Tempest is a joint MOD and industry program office. They have designed a program of concept and technology demonstrators using the best scientific, engineering, and operational minds and that partnership approach. Drawing on our rich aviation history, spiraling our existing world-leading capabilities, recognizing our outstanding manufacturing sector and our fifth-generation operating experience, the team are tackling everything from low observability to advanced sensors, next-generation engine technology, and future cockpit design. The clearest demonstration of our rate of progress and our thinking to date stands behind me. But the capability which we aim to deliver is not simply resident in this platform. This is not like previous combat air programs. This platform and others like it will sit amongst an innovative force mix of capability, including, for example, our Typhoons, our F-35s, future space-based capabilities, potentially low-cost options, unmanned combat air systems. It will be about a system, information, integration, networks, interoperability. At the air shows of the future, the most common question might still be, how fast? But there should also be questions about terabytes and connectivity. Indeed, this system will be designed from the inside out, focusing on flexible and more modular architecture to present whatever capabilities you need through plug-and-play software. The stand-up of an acquisition program to replace Typhoon, UK, but fully open to international partnership, is the clearest possible signal of our intent. Military and industrial capability and working with others. It's an entirely fitting way for the Royal Air Force to enter its second century. And so I would just like to thank all of those across the Ministry of Defence, across industry, who have worked so hard to bring us to this point today and to look forward to all of their great work next. Now, please join us as we sign the heads of terms and the contract. Thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the launch of the UK Combat Air Strategy and the unveiling of our future concept. Thank you.